time for another youth video report, so... Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. I want to start a, a new little mini-series today looking at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8, 4 through 8, and we'll go through them uh, one verse at a time. So today I want to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, and many of you know that this passage is called uh, the love chapter because it talks about what love is, what love does, and what love does not do. We read this passage, and I know I, I read this passage at weddings, and we use it in describing the relationship between a husband and a wife, but the way Paul wrote this to the church in Corinth, he was more describing how we are supposed to treat each other, uh, whether we be you know fellow Christians or non-Christians, but how we should treat each other. So let's look at verse 4, and it says this, Love is patient, love is kind. And is not jealous, love does not brag, and is not arrogant. Now, the first part of that saying that love is patient, you know, guys, people have asked me, you know, I'm 53 years old, and people have asked me, say, hey, Jimmy, are you going to continue uh, to work with student ministries, or are you going to move on to, to be a pastor or something like that? And I say, listen, guys, uh, God has got me in youth ministry to try to teach me patience. And if I ever learn that, then he will graduate me up to the next ministry. Uh, I'm halfway kidding there. I'm always open to whatever the Lord would have me do. But being patient is very difficult because it requires that you think of someone else other than yourself. And that is what love is, as it says. Love is patient because it, it allows you or, or demonstrates your ability to think about another person and what their concerns are their what is best for them and not necessarily uh, what is best for you. Next one says love is kind. Now kindness is pretty self-explanatory. How don't try to be kind to folks, be kind to folks. Again, it means you got to put yourself second. It means that you have to be willing sometimes to be kind to people that are not very friendly that are really not making it easy for you to be kind. And sometimes the best way we can be kind to folks that aren't nice to us is just to keep our mouth shut. And that's kind of hard to do sometimes. The next one says, love is not jealous. Meaning that, you know, love doesn't look at other things or, or things that people have and say, man, I wish I had those things. To a point that we get to where we can't be happy unless we have what other people have. Man, somebody just got a brand new car. Oh, I wish I had that. Oh, somebody, you know, just got a, you know, they moved into a, a nice new house or, or man, they got the latest, uh, you know, phone or computer or whatever the newest thing. And you're just thinking to yourself, wow, if only I had that. But also in relationships as well, if you really trust someone, if you're in a relationship, you don't want to be jealous because jealousy means that maybe you don't have as much trust in them as you need to. Uh, the next one says, love does not brag. Listen, guys, I learned a long time ago. When I, when I first started playing sports, I played football ever since I was in first grade, all the way to my senior in high school. One of the books that I read, one of my favorite uh, sports heroes was Julius Irving, Dr. J. And one of Dr. J's quotes was, if you're going to play sports, you need to be able to l learn to win without bragging and lose without crying. And if you can't do that, then maybe you shouldn't play. Bragging on yourself, we need to be humble. Let other people talk about us. Let other people say nice things. We don't need to promote ourselves. And then it, it continues on with saying that love is not arrogant, meaning that you don't hold yourself higher than other folks. You don't think of yourself as being better than other people. Listen, we're all, we're all children of God. We're all made in his image, and he loves all of us the same. And we need to treat everyone the same. Doesn't mean they're going to like everybody, but God calls us to love everybody. 
And you can't show much love when you're walking around with an arrogant attitude. Anyway, guys, hope this helps. Have a great day today. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.